Hi and welcome back to my channel at Oso Victoria where I'm a part-time reseller and I sell on Etsy, Poshmark and eBay. And so I'm going to go over what sold in the first week of June. I sold 15 items. So this is from June 1st to June 7th. And I'll do my gross, my nets, my fees and my cost of goods. So my gross for those 15 items was $340.35. My net profit was $244.33. And my fees were $70.57. And my cost of goods was $25.45. So let me get started and let you know on June 1st on eBay, I sold the set of Nikki Bicky Soft Tees. Uh, they're long sleeve, very soft. Uh, they I sold them for $13 for both of them, and those were given to me by my son when he dropped off a bunch of clothes last fall, and I had listed them in May 10th, and they sold June 1st. And also on eBay, I sold this Demente Gray Silver Disco shirt. It I sold it for $18.99. And then I got a little extra, fifty-seven, a little extra in shipping, and it cost me a dollar. I picked it up at the Humane Society over in Brookings, over at the coast, in December of last year, and I listed it in May on May thirteenth of this year. And also on the first, in my Etsy also Victoria shop, I sold the Sag Harbor Kelly Green top for twenty dollars cost me a quarter also over at the Humane Society it was on the rack out front where their quarter stuff is and if I got the discount senior discount it would have been only uh, 20 cents and then that disco shirt would have been like 80 cents but I don't I don't remember <laughs> and so I picked this one up in March of this year and I don't know when I listed it because I didn't mark that down so if I picked it up in March and it sold in June, it wasn't listed very long. In fact, um, I think I had just recently listed it. And then also on the first on eBay, I sold this Chin Studio Black Faux Leather Shorts for $31.32. And I may have given a, a watcher a discount on that, ten fifteen. It depends on because I just listed them may 12th and so i give a lower discount to watchers when i just list the item so i don't know where they came from but i think they came from one of my kids or my son-in-law not sure and I, like i said i listed them may 12th and they sold on the first for 31 32. and then also let's see the nothing sold on the second and then on June 3rd on eBay, I sold this vintage Jenny Helene blue floral dress uh, for $23.16. And that was also an offer to Liker. And I'm not sure when I picked it up, but I know I picked it up at a thrift store for me because I got that dress for me. And it was probably several years ago I picked it up. And I listed it May 20th. And then also on the third on eBay, I sold these Icon Art to Wear Gustav Klint print <laughs> shoes. They look like they were brand new. I sold them for $49.95 and I paid $7.20 for them at the Salvation Army in Medford, which is a large town just north of me. And I picked those up in April, on April 29th of this year, and I listed them May 14th really cute shoes and then also on the third and Poshmark I sold this red leather crossbody bag uh, for $31 and I believe that was given to me by my son it was in the pack of goods he had and left here for me last fall and I listed that I actually listed that I'm not sure when I listed it actually I, I don't I recall listing it but I don't think it was that long ago maybe a couple months ago at the most and then also on the third on Poshmark I sold this heart and soul pink camisole that was an 
offer to like her so that was when I was doing another sale on Poshmark so that I sold that for eight dollars that was given to me by my son with a bunch of stuff and I had listed that in December of 2019 so that's been listed for quite a while so obviously um, with the discount price, shipping price I was happy to see that somebody picked that one up and also on Poshmark on the third I sold this creamy lace open front cover up and that was also been listed since 2019 um, sold it for nine dollars and that was something I think my granddaughter had left here um, after she moved out and I think she got that in China <laughs> did some online sales in China whatever so nine dollars so let's see and then nothing on the fourth and then on the 5th on eBay, I sold these hardtail shorts. They were new with tags. They were regular price, $72. And they were really cute. And I sold the other vintage shorts similar with those little buttons on the side. I call them tap shorts. So a real popular style. And so these sold for $38.99. Can't remember what I had them listed for. Maybe $45. And I sent an offer to Likers, I think. And so these cost me $10. These were retail arbitrage on a sale rack out in a boutique in front of a boutique in Sisters, Oregon. So like they like I said, originally they would have sold in the boutique for $72, but she had things um, for $10. So that was last fall in November of 20. So that's why these shorts were probably on sale. And then I listed them January of this year. And also on the 5th on Poshmark, I sold this Cold Water Creek black and white knit dress for $22. This was given to me by my daughter for my daughter. So it didn't cost anything there. And the buyer just bought it outright. And so on Etsy on the 5th in my Cameron D collectible shop, I sold these fish wall hanging sets from the 60s probably from the 60s 70s i don't know it was the mom fish and the two little kid fish and they were even glued one of the fins was glued back to the boy fish or something and that was all noted and i showed the back of them and everything and so i sold those for twenty dollars um they didn't cost me anything because those are given to me by my daughter she just brought them over one day i don't know where she got those um, probably from a friend or something and uh, she gave brought them to me in September of last year and I listed them January of this year and then on the 6th of my Poshmark closet I sold this shoe dazzle leopard jumpsuit for $20 and I picked that up at the Goodwill in Ashland because it was new with tags so it was new with tags and I, I it's one of the very few times I used a stock photo for this um, because of the way hanging that jumpsuit up or putting it on a dress form or even my mannequin it wouldn't have done it justice like the model in the stock photo did so I did use a stock photo for that so it sold for $20 I had picked it up at the Goodwill here uh, in January of 2019 and I listed it in February 2019 so it took a couple of years for this to sell well it was really a cool jumpsuit surprised it took so long but it did and I only listed on Poshmark I'd never I didn't list it on eBay and then also on Poshmark on the 7th I sold this Athleta black dress for $20 I had picked this up at the Humane Society over in Brookings for a dollar in March of this year and I listed it in April 26th of this year and then it sold June 7th for 20 and the last thing that sold on eBay were these Nike running shorts um, for $10.95. And I do believe I sent an offer to Likers on those, or they did a, they made me an offer. So I may have had them listed for $15, $16. They made me an offer for $10.95. I can't remember. Anyway, they sold for $10.95. And I did pick these also up at the Humane Society in Brookings in March of this year for a dollar. And I listed them May 4th of this year. So it took about a month for those to sell. So that's the total of all the 15 items. 
that I sold and let me break down to what sold in what shop that sort of stuff um, so on Etsy I only sold one item in my old so Victoria shop for $20 and I also sold one item in my Etsy Cameron D shop collectibles for $20 I sold six items in my Poshmark closet for a total of $110 and and I sold seven items in my eBay shop store <laughs> for a total of $190.35. So that's the first time I think eBay has pulled ahead of the pack here and Poshmark is like a close second. And Etsy, don't know what's going on. Probably no listing there. Haven't been listing on Etsy. Haven't been listing much of anything, but I'm catching up now. So anyway, those are the sales, and I hope you enjoyed seeing what sold on those four platforms. And thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you like what sold videos or if you like haul videos, because I just did a whole bunch of haul videos too, and we'll be placing those out. And some travel videos of adventures in Southern Oregon. Okay, so thanks for watching again.